Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, we're going to be talking about the intake design. Alright, so while designing this first re revision of the intake manifold, we had a few requirements. The first one was dual throttle bodies. We wanted dual throttle bodies and two uh, chambers for the each bank. So in this design, we're going to have two GM LS throttle bodies. That's what's setting up our spacing is these two are packed as close as they can be. One's going to be inverted from the other one. Um, and then there's going to be a divider dividing the two banks from each other. So that will that's not shown here, but that's going to be in the final revision. We just didn't 3D print that stuff. Um, another requirement, and it's driven purely by our RPM goal. So the target is an 8,000 RPM uh, peak horsepower. So there's some guidelines on runner geometry based on your RPM target. So using our target of 8,000 RPM, we decided on runner length and diameter. Okay. So this is revision one of the intake manifold and there's a few errors we had. So it was good to cat it, 3D print it, put it on here and see where we messed up. Plenum volume on these designs, we're not having too much of an issue with. Goal with plenum volumes, at least to have one times of engine displacement. We're at roughly around two and a half times engine displacement. So we're looking at almost 16 liters of plenum volume. So that's not an issue. I think the bigger, the better. Really? Nothing. So that seems to be the consensus. So we're not gonna, uh, you know, modify anything on there to try to achieve any plenum volume. Another issue we had, if you see here, we do not have uh, bosses for the fuel injectors. So if I put a fuel injector there, I still need to cat in the boss. You can see we don't have much clearance here for a fuel rail. We don't want these going straight up or negative uh, angle due to clearance issues with the valve cover. And the more angle, the better it will flow with the port geometry. So we're gonna be modifying this area here, these sides, to give us more room in this this area for fuel rail. So that, that's another modification or adjustment we need to make. Um, so with all of those things taken into account, we're gonna go back to the computer, modify our design, and then we'll be printing a full intake manifold, throwing it on the engine and seeing how everything looks. All right guys, we're here at the computer. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at the CAD we have in SOLIDWORKS and walk through some of the revisions we've made from the revision one we showed on the engine earlier. So as you can see here, um, it already looks quite a bit different. So what uh, one of the biggest changes we have here is this plate on the front for the throttle bodies to mount to. So originally, the plan was to have the throttle bodies mount directly to this plate with some through holes and threaded uh, threaded aluminum here for the, the bolts to mount to. But uh, we didn't really like that idea because it gave us a leak path for vacuum through those bolt holes. So we, we put in a, a big plate with blind holes to, uh, to help us control any vacuum leaks. Um, so that change enabled us actually to modify the width of the intake manifold. So this flange actually overhangs um, and we brought these two walls closer together um, to give us more room for the fuel system. So let me turn on the fuel injectors and the fuel rail and you can see that now we don't have an issue um, with that fitting in, the, in between the manifold and the uh, valve cover in the head. Now we don't have a clearance issue between these. We're gonna have to figure out some standoffs to mount to this uh, plenum here for the, the fuel rail, but now everything fits and packages well for that uh, fuel system and we'll have enough room um, for any service we need to do there. Another big area of change is the runners. So the geometry on these is quite different. So this is the new runner geometry here. Um, it's quite a bit different than what we had before. So looking at the original, 
3D print. It was just a tube uh, that was necked down to an oval shape here um, to fit more the geometry of the port. So this diameter is incorrect. We needed to increase it to be a two inch OD pipe that we could purchase and it's closer to the, um, the cylinder head. So, and then we put in the fuel uh, bung, fuel injector bung. So looking at CAD, we have that fuel injector bung here that's kind of scalloped into the, into the port itself. Uh, then we also increase the diameter of this uh, oval area to better match a two inch, uh, two inch pipe. And then a big change here is this trumpet, this velocity stack we wanted to include. So that is gonna be machined directly into the pipe um, and be part of this, this uh, intake runner. So all of those pieces incorporated together give us revision two. We're gonna go ahead and work on sending this over to the 3D printer. We're gonna to have to chop up the big assembly into multiple pieces to fit on the bed, but uh, we're gonna work on getting this printed and then assembled and put back on the engine. printed intake with all the revisions that Jack talked about. So this is the first time we're going to place it on the engine. So let's go ahead. It's a little tight. You put them backwards. Wait, oh, this, oh yeah, these are V8 heads. Yeah, why not? So it's hitting the valve. 
Or that. It's actually hitting the head. It's hitting the head. It's hitting the head. Can slide it? Or, yeah, just move the head then, right? We uh, we can, like... Wait, hold on. Trip. Like, no, slipping it, it in. It doesn't work. It doesn't oh. have a weight there. And it's not gonna fit. No, well, we're gonna have to, I'm gonna have to lift the head up. Alright, we're gonna put on the scrap pieces, scrap head pieces that are hitting the back here on these VA heads. Um, and then we'll try again. Oh my god, it fit first try. There she is. Let's put the throttle bodies in all the Yeah, you check first try? Yeah. Alright, so here it is. Mounted on the block. All right, so this front part here we're using, uh, these are the two GMLS throttle bodies that we'll be using. Uh, and we had to invert them because they wouldn't fit if they were both in the same orientation that the motor would be uh, on this side and it would be hitting. So um, I don't really like how this looks. Um, so we're talking about pushing this forward a little bit and angle it down. So essentially the throttle bodies will be facing kind of away from the center. So we're gonna be revising this area one more time. Uh, other than that, everything looks pretty good. There's space here for the injectors. Um, so we talked about that earlier. We, we changed the geometry so that the overall width is slightly thinner, narrower. So now there's plenty of room for, the, for a fuel rail here. There's plenty of room here for hand access for the connectors. Uh, so that's taken care of. These are now the bigger uh, runners. So these are the actual size we'll be using. Um, it all looks to line up pretty well. We might have to make some fine-tune adjustments on the bolt holes, but Yeah, other than that, this is pretty much what the intake will look like except for the front. We'll change that up, but it's uh, You know, it's not as tall as it may look tall But if you compare it to the stock 4.6 or 5.4 intakes, this is actually shorter um, So that'll make it a little easier to fit on the on the car when we, uh, when we get it and start test fitting um, but yeah, I mean, this is coming out great. So like I said, the next step is gonna be modifying this front area. We'll 3D print that again, make sure everything fits right. Um, and we'll go from there. So after all the revisions and all the changes, the intake's done, um, or well, the design of the intake is done, fully 3D printed. Uh, we ended up going with this, I'm calling it Ultraman design. Uh, we did post uh, both designs on Instagram and most people seem to like this one, so I worked out that way. A um, Couple things that we had to compromise on with this design. Uh, one of them is the alternator. If you know the four valves have the alternator in this area, um, with this intake, obviously that won't work. So what we're going to do is relocate the alternator, uh, similar to where the Cobras have it, the, the terminators. So we'll design and fabricate our own bracket to relocate it. Um, we now also have a lot more clearance to the valve cover. Uh, we did push the throttle bodies forward more. Uh, so we're gonna bring this back a little bit and this is probably too much clearance. And we also have a little bit of a tight condition in between the two, so small tweaks here and there, but the overall shape and design is, uh, is done, really. We're happy with this, it looks good, it fits good. Another thing we were able to do with this design is now we have both throttle bodies oriented in the same way, so the blades open in the same, the same direction. 
which is better than having it uh, upside down. All right, so now we're gonna start cutting parts. We got uh, all the CAD, we need to convert that to some 2D drawings so we could program with it. And then uh, we're gonna start making chips. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one. Thank mm -hmm. you.